Boom, 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 boom. Hey, 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 hey. It's time for our next Chihuahua-approved story. Join us, me and Kermit, as we go deeper in our book saga. So let's get started. Hi. Thank you for joining me today for Disney Pixar Cars Mater Saves Christmas. Let's get started. The morning sun sparkled on the snow in Radiator Springs. Mater, the tow truck, rushed through town carrying a letter for Santa Car. He was just about to mail his letter when he heard a familiar voice behind him. Come on, Mater. Surely you even know that Santa Car is not real. It was Lightning McQueen's racing rival, Chick Hicks. Mater laughed and dropped his letter into the mailbox. Next you're going to tell me that the Easter Bunny doesn't exist either. What are you doing here, Chick? Lightning asked, looking at his racing rival suspiciously. Oh, hey, Lightning. I didn't see you there. I just came by to donate to Red's toy drive, Chick replied. Lightning frowned. He had a feeling that Chick was up to no good. Just then, Sheriff drove up. I'm afraid I have some bad news, folks. Fill-up stations up and down the route have been robbed. All the gas has been stolen. But without gas, the mail trucks can't deliver our letters to Santa Car, Mater cried. That means no Christmas. Determined, Mater drove over to the gas pump. Fill her up, Flo, he said. I'll go to the North Pole and take the letters to Santa Car myself. I'm trying, Flo said, but there's no gas. Sure enough, Flo's place had been robbed too. Mater narrowed his eyes at Chick, who was standing nearby, chuckling with his friends. Just then, Fillmore, the hippie van, whispered to Mater, Meet me at the dome in five. When Mater got to the dome, he discovered that Fillmore made his own organic fuel. Fillmore fueled Mater's tank with the last of the Christmas brew. Then he made Mater promise to put his linter to Santa at the top of the pile. Never stop believing, man, Fillmore said. Back at Flo's, Mater got ready to head out with the letters for Santa Car. Lightning was worried he couldn't let Mater go alone. Mater, I'm going with you, he said. But you don't even have snow tires, Mater pointed out. Lightning knew what he had to do. He made a quick pit stop at Luigi's for tires. Then Sarge, the army jeep, added some snow gear of his own. A snowplow, big lights, and fog lamps. Now that's what I call good looking. North Pole, here we come, Mater exclaimed. Soon Mater and Lightning started their long journey to the North Pole. The two friends made their way through deep snow. Lightning was tired, but Mater's spirits remained high. As they trekked on, they sang carols to keep themselves awake. Frosty the snowplow, 
bonk, suddenly made her hit a candy stripe pole. The North Pole, we found it, he cried happily. Welcome to the North Pole, gentlemen, Santa Car said. Lightning stared in amazement. Santa Car is real, he gasped. Santa Car was glad that his new friends had carried their letters all that way, but he had some bad news. Christmas may be canceled this year. No Christmas made her cried. The reindeer snowmobiles that fly me around the world have been stolen, Santa Car said. They are fed a top secret fuel that helps them fly. Just then, Mater remembered Chick and his friends acting suspiciously at Flo's. Chick Hicks took your reindeer, he cried. Of course, Lightning exclaimed. He wants their fuel. Chick will do anything to win a race. I'd tow you to Radiator Springs to find your reindeer, Mr. Santa Car, Mater said. But we'd never make it back in time to save Christmas. Santa Car had a better idea. He filled Mater's tank with the reindeer snowmobile's special flying fuel. Back in Radiator Springs, Luigi and Guido scouted the canyons for the fuel thieves. From a cliff, they spotted Chick and his posse making fuel. Santa Car's reindeer snowmobiles were there, too. All of a sudden, two of Chick's pals cornered Guido and Luigi. You're too late, boys, Chick shouted at Guido and Luigi. We've already reverse-engineered the flying fuel. I'll fly around the track and never lose to Lightning and McQueen again. And you know the best part? No more Christmas. No more dirty oil filters in my stockings. If I can't have presents, no one can. Suddenly, the air filled with the sound of jingling bells. Mater flew over the hill, towing lightning and Santa car behind him. Chick raced away, but lightning was close behind. Santa car had filled his tank with the magic fuel, too. Chick was flying fast, but he was no match for lightning. As Chick hit a sharp curve, he turned too late and spun out of control. He tumbled over the edge of a cliff into a cactus patch. Doc and Mater joined lightning on the edge of the cliff to take a look at the wreckage. Have fun fishing, Mater, Doc said. Tow him straight to jail. Back in town, Mater, Lightning, and the rest of the Radiator Springs gang celebrated the capture of the fuel thieves with Santa Car and his reindeer snowmobiles. Well, we better hit the road, Santa Car said. But you know, 
we could use some help delivering these presents. What do you say, Mater? Will you help? Mater's eyes lit up. Sure thing, he yelled. Let's get her done. As Mater and Santa Car soared into the sky, Mater looked down at his friends in Radiator Springs and shouted, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. And that concludes our story for today. The magic fuel that Mater got saved Christmas from those others. The next story is going to be number 11, and it's Pinocchio, and it's a meowy Christmas. And that's a sneak peek out of it. If you made it this far, you're an amazing listener. And, and I hope to see you next time. Sleep tight and do not let the bed bugs bite. Bye.